Hey, how's it going, Yankees fans? Yet again, it is Felix from MLYNews.com. Hey, make sure you visit Peter Salmonetti's new home, MLYNews.com slash Salmonetti Source. The Salmonetti Source is a brand of MLYNews.com. Back in the day, around like 2006 or 2007, the Salmonetti Source was called NYY Lord. <laughs> Sounds funny, but um, that's what we do on NYYNews.com. We like to build up Yankees fans. So like I said, people, if you want to start your own blog or whatever, start it, make videos, post it on a link. I will link to it on NYYNews.com. You guys don't want to blow up or what? Send those links to my Facebook or Twitter. Also, send your reaction videos. Post them online. Tag the Yankees. They will feature you on the Yes Network. Fox Sports will pick it up. All these platforms will pick it up. They love reaction videos. Hashtag MLB, hashtag Yankees. As fans of baseball, let's make baseball the number one sport in America yet again. Come on, we got to do it. Chop, chop. Come on. So, Yankees fans, Neil Walker came out and said, hey, what the, I was talking to the Yankees about a deal. I was this close to becoming a New York Yankee. And then what happened? The Yankees traded for Brandon Drury. See, he even caught him by surprise. I had all these trade possibilities with Machado. People were talking about Mustakas even. We had all this talk about all these other players. So that confirms to me that this deal happened within 48 hours or 24 hours. They just called Cashman and said, yo, jury's available. J.D. Martinez just signed with the Red Sox. Hey, you want jury? We know you love him. Do us this favor because it was a favor. They didn't take Ellsbury from us. And Cashman tried to move him over there. I would have said no, personally. So the deal was done. Caught Neil Walker by surprise. I wouldn't be surprised if Mike Moustakas came out and said the same thing, that the Yankees were talking to him for a deal for a year. Now we see Miguel and the horse saying, Nuh-uh, not so fast. Don't you guys see my exit velocity? Because and the horse tops in the game around baseball with exit velocity. About averaging about 118 miles per hour, something like that. I might be wrong, but around that area so folks i don't know drury day by day is becoming let's say a super utility player because yankees fans are starting to realize that this deal really didn't make sense that it wasn't a deal brian cashman was going out and trying to get understand what i'm saying he probably tried a couple of times but it was the Diamondbacks this time that rang him up and got the deal done. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Um, Neil Walker just read his quotes in the media. He said, wow, I was in negotiations with the Yankees. I was this close to signing with the Yankees. And boom, they traded for Brandon Drury. And again, folks, I keep saying this over and over again. This trade for Drury really changed a whole bunch of stuff. Let's say if Miguel Andohar continues to just tear the ball in spring training, plays a solid third. The Yankees are really going to look bad if they give that starting spot to Drury. Because we already see it as, the majority of Yankees fans see it as, the Yankees taking away the keys from Andohar, taking a rug from underneath his feet. If anything, that trade just made Andohar more fans i'm talking about the individuals that wanted manny machado on the yankees i'm talking about the individuals that wanted mustakas on the yankees i'm seeing those fans quickly becoming andahor fans and i'm seeing the momentum shift towards andahor i'm seeing the original excitement for drury dissipate also folks let's be realistic here i know it looks like a race thing a situation where uh, Latino Dominican is facing a white guy for a position on the Yankees. 
Let's just be realistic here, folks. That's how some people perceive it as. But if you knew my political ideology, I don't care what race anybody is. If you're American of any skin color, if you were born in America, I would consider that person American. Just as I was born in America, my parents come from the Dominican Republic, I consider myself American. So, realistically here, folks, if Anne the Whore just wins the third base position, he won it because he was the better man, okay? If Drury has a better spring training than Anne the Whore, he won it because he was the better player. So let's say Andahor has an amazing spring training. He did way better than Drury. And Drury wins that third base position. Let's be realistic here, folks, with this political climate that we see nowadays. It's going to look pretty fishy that Andahor completely lost that third base position. Because if he loses it, he's going to lose it forever. Okay, It's going to look pretty racially, I don't know sensitive if that's the case i hope it's not i hope the yankees do the right decision and give andor that third base position if he outperforms drury i know some people might get offended by that folks but i'm just here talking realistically i mention it because i had a few comments that i read talking about the same issues already so i'm just gonna let it be known i'm just gonna put it out there you know everybody has their own opinions and it might ruffle some feathers, folks, if Anahor has a better spring training and he doesn't win that third base position. So I can see where some people might come up with that conclusion and see it that way. As in my opinion, I don't see it that way. If the Yankees decide to play Drury at third, that basically means that Anahor is not going to see the light of day on the New York Yankees. Probably if Drury gets injured, I think the Yankees have committed to Drury. I don't know what the fascination with him is. I guess they see him as a 30-plus home run hitter, a solid defender, just a overall great player. But wait for it, folks. Wait for it, folks. They see him as a tool that's going to be used to go after Bryce Harper. Hey, that's just my opinion. You know, I, I did a whole bunch of videos on Machado, etc., so I can understand if people say, oh, Felix, you've been wrong. Well, I could say this back and say, well, Neil Walker was saying basically the same thing I was saying. And he thought he was going to be a New York Yankee. And he didn't see this jewelry trade happening either. So it's just fascinating to me if Neil Walker was being targeted by the Yankees. I want to know. If the Yankees were in talks with the Orioles for Machado, I want to know if the Yankees were in talks to obtain Mustakas. I'm pretty sure they were. So as long as we don't know, we don't know what was going down. We can't say this person was wrong, this person was right. Because we don't know how that jury trade went down. So, Andahor fans, if you've been a fan of Andahor from the get-go... I know a lot of Andahor Warriors out there going back and forth with the Machado fans, going back and forth with the Mustakas fans, going back and forth with the Drury fans. If you are a true fan of Andahor, you can't count me and I'm a bandwagon fan of Andahor at this point. Hey, I'll admit it. But if you're a fan of Andahor, die hard. You have to be excited with Andahor this spring. As I see it day by day, Drury's star power, if he even had any, the excitement with his name is dwindling, in my opinion, and Andahor's name is becoming way bigger. There's real excitement behind Andahor. If you ask me, Andahor is tops right next to Judge and Stanton, or maybe even Sanchez, when his name is brought up. Yankees fans are absolutely excited with Andahar. So, like always, folks, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Check out Peter Salmonetti's new website, NYNews.com slash Salmonetti source. Like always, folks, share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.